Welcome back to the episode 4.4 of our video course Parallel Programming and Optimization with Intel Xeon Fly Coprocessors. In this episode, we will talk about software threads and particularly multi-threading implementation with OpenMP library. In parallel programming, threads are serial sequences of instructions that are executed concurrently and share a part of the virtual memory address space. In high-performance computing, threads are typically used to utilize multiple cores in a processor or coprocessor. In order to launch threads and coordinate work between them, the programmer must use a parallel framework, which is a set of language constructs and a runtime library that manages threads. For Intel Xeon processors and Intel Xeon Phi processors, supported multi-threading frameworks are numerous and include pthreads, OpenMP, Intel Silk Plus, Intel Thread Building Blocks or TBB, Boost Threads, and many others. In this course, we will discuss one of the most popular, standardized and actively supported frameworks, OpenMP. OpenMP stands for Open Multiprocessing. The OpenMP standard was developed in the early 2000s, and as of today, when this video is recorded, the latest OpenMP standard is version 4.0. OpenMP allows to run multiple threads on Intel processors and coprocessors, team them up for traditional HPC parallel patterns, coordinate work between them using synchronization and reduction constructs, bind threads to cores in various patterns, and as of the latest OpenMP standard, it also supports some of the vector and heterogeneous aspects of parallel architectures. Let us begin studying OpenMP with a Hello World example. This application queries the number of threads available to it, prints it out on the screen, and then starts a team of threads and makes every thread print its number. The execution model with OpenMP is that the program begins with a single thread, called the initial thread. At some point in the code, the statement pragma OMP parallel spawns multiple threads, and every thread executes the code in the scope of the pragma. After the end of the scope of the pragma, execution returns to the initial thread. In order to use OpenMP support functions such as OMP get max threads and OMP get thread num, the header file OMP.h must be included. In order to compile an application that uses OpenMP with Intel compilers, use flag -q OpenMP. In order to set the number of threads available to the application, set the environment variable OMP num threads. If this variable is not set, the number of threads will be set equal to the number of logical cores in the system. For example, on 60-core Intel Xeon Phi processors, the default number of OpenMP threads is 240. As we can see, our Hello World program with OpenMP works and prints Hello World from multiple threads. The order of execution is not fixed, so the thread numbers are not in order. Because Pragma OMP Parallel may be treated as a comment, it is possible to serialize an OpenMP application by compiling it with the argument "-q OpenMP stops." With this argument, the application becomes single-threaded. This can be used to check the serial implementation of your code or to compare performance difference between multi-threaded and serial versions of your application. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next episode.